You want to play Minecraft Java Edition 1.21 with a controller. And in this video, we're going to show you how to use a controller to play Minecraft Java Edition. And you can even use a controller on servers and with other Fabric Minecraft mods. So that means you can enjoy things like Bombs of Plenty or other amazing Minecraft mods that support Fabric and use your controller at the same time. This is great if you're coming from Bedrock Edition and moving over to Java, or if you just have no other option but to use a controller for accessibility reasons, this mod is going to unlock that and allow you to use a controller with Java Edition. Something I wish they would add to vanilla, but they've not. So let's go ahead and solve it using this mod here, Midnight Controls, which is a controller mod for Minecraft Java that is updated to 1.21. It's the second link in the description down below, and it will take you here. This is the official download page for Midnight Controls, where you want to click on versions, and then you want to find the 1.21 version, right here it is. Go ahead and click the green download version next to this Fabric 1.21 version, and the download will begin. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser, like I do here, and while this is downloading, how much from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown that XYZ says SGH, to start a 24-hour DDoS in Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods to the server, such as Fabric mods like we're using here. You can also add mod packs to the server in just a few clicks and add plugins or customize the server any way that you want. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So go check out Simple Game Host and get the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, our mod is now downloaded, and there's two more things that we need to download here. The first is the Fabric API. This is an API library mod that the Midnight Controls mod needs. So we want to just go to the third link in the description down below. That'll take you here where you want to go to download Fabric API, and then you want to go to file and find the 1.21 version, which is right up here at the top currently, but depending on when you're watching this video, you may need to scroll to find it. Click the three dots and click download file, and the file will begin after a few seconds, just like Midnight Controls. Once this is downloaded, we have one more thing. And that is the Fabric Mod Loader itself. The Fabric Mod Loader is basically what allows all this to happen. It sits in between Minecraft and your mods, making them work together. So, once you're here, of course, linked in the description down below, just scroll down and click on the Download Fabric button here to go to the official Fabric download page. This article back here, though, can be super helpful if you prefer reading, or if you want a more dedicated guide on getting fabrics, because we're just going to be covering the basics here. Once you're on this page, go ahead and click on that Download Universal Jar, little link under Download for Windows, the reason we're clicking that and keeping and saving the file is because that is going to allow us to install other Minecraft mods and run servers and things like that in the future easier. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser, and we want to move all of these from wherever our downloads are to our desktop. So as you can see here, they're on my downloads folder. Drag them to our desktop, and we've got three things. We've got the Fabric API, we've got the Fabric installer itself, and we've got Midnight Controls. To get started, we're going to be working with the Fabric installer file. So go ahead and right-click on this, click on Open With, click Java and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Or what if you do have Java here? Maybe you've installed mods in the past, you've opened stuff with Java, but this won't work. And that's because as a Minecraft 1.21, you need Java 21. So go into the description down below to here and get Java 21 set up. It goes over everything you need to know in text and video format. After you've gotten that, you might need to run the jar fix. This is gonna take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. But first get Java, then run the jar fix. Now though, we can go ahead and open up the Fabric Installer, right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK, and that will open up with Java 21. In the Fabric Installer, we just gotta make sure that 1.21 is selected, and then click Install, and now it's gonna install into Minecraft. There's two reasons this may fail. One, if Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher are open, this just won't work. And two, if you've never played Minecraft 1.21 before, which is understandable if you can only play or only enjoy playing with a controller. But go ahead and launch it up to the main menu, which is literally just opening up the Minecraft Launcher, clicking Play on Minecraft, Minecraft 1.21, and then once you're on the main menu, close out of it, then come back and reinstall Fabric, and this will work. Now go ahead and click OK, and close out of the Fabric installer, and we can delete it from our desktop. Now, let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. From here, we'll be able to install these mods, so don't play Minecraft yet. Just open the Minecraft launcher, and then in the launcher, click on installations up here at the top. So you can see we have installations, and then make sure mod is checked. If mod is not checked, we won't have what we need. So check modded here, and there it is, Fabric Loader 1.21. If you've got this, awesome, go ahead and move on with the tutorial. Skip about 15 seconds, but if you don't have Fabric Loader 1.21 here, no worries, click New Installation. You can name this anything you want. I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then go ahead and click the Versions drop-down box here and select Release Fabric Loader 1.21. Now we can go ahead and click Create, and we have our new SimpleGameHosting.com profile that most importantly is Fabric Loader 1.21. But... 
we need to install these mods. Well, once you've got Fabric Loader here, hello, those of you who skip forward past me creating the custom profile, what we want to do to install our controller mod is hover over the Fabric Loader installation, either one that was there or the one we created, and click the folder icon. In here, you should have a mods folder, but we don't. Well, if you don't have a mods folder, that's okay. Just right click, create a new folder, and title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Finally, drag and drop Midnight Controls in the Fabric API from your desktop into the mods folder, and there you go. These are now installed. Now when we play Minecraft, we're going to be able to play it with a controller, as long as we launch it using our Fabric Loader installation, either one that was there by default or the one that we created. When you click play, you're going to have to click play again, confirming you're playing mod in Minecraft. Now, once Minecraft is open, it's time to go grab our controller. You can connect your controller using any method you would like. That could be a normal Bluetooth connection if you can connect via that. It can be using an Xbox controller or it can be via USB. And that's what I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to be connecting this via USB-C to my computer. And once we plug it in here, we will see instantly that Minecraft is going to actually recognize it. So a little jump cut there. Um, actually, this is quite, quite interesting. If you unplug or plug your controller in currently with the mod, it will crash um, while it is open. So keep that in mind. So we want to make sure that we can go ahead and plug this in before we launch Minecraft, and it's going to work. So plug this in and play. That must be a bug. Partially could be even be with this particular controller. This is an Xbox Series S controller, so could be with this specific controller. But if you do have a crash when you plug in your controller for the first time, that's okay. Just plug it in, get it connected to your computer before you launch Minecraft. Then once we're in game here, we can actually see that I am moving around the main menu, right like so, using the arrow keys, or not the arrow keys, the D-pad, as well as the thumbstick. And we can jump in, like I said, to a multiplayer game if we want. But before we do that, I want to go to options here, and then we can scroll over over up here to the top right. This is a Midnight Controls config area where you can edit tons of different stuff with Midnight Controls here. Different things like where the HUD works and all that stuff. It's, it's, it's rather interesting. You've also got a little config here for Midnight Lib, but really don't need that. You can also go to Controls, and then if you see on the right-hand side here, we have this little like uh, controller icon. If you click on that, you can change a ton of different controller-specific settings. For example, we can do gameplay, appearance, controller bindings, like what specific thing on the controller binds to in-game, and different controller options here as well. So worth looking at if you want to really customize things, but by default, it's going to be very similar to Minecraft Vanilla on Bedrock. So we want to go ahead and jump into multiplayer here. As I said, you can join a server, including a simple game hosting server. And playing on a server is just like playing on it in normal Java Edition. So when you join in, you can run around, you can do all that stuff. The server really doesn't care that you're using a controller at all. And uh, if we double tap, for example, forward on the D-pad, it can run. We can double tap A to fly. We can place blocks with left trigger. We can break blocks with a right trigger. So if we come down here, for example, and break a block, we can do that. And then we can place blocks as well, right like so. I don't want to copper grate there, but you get the idea. So that's how you can add a controller mod to Minecraft Java Edition. Uh, very weird bug. I'm glad we found it. I love when we find stuff like that in videos, and I can show you. If you plug your controller in and it crashes, that's okay. Plug it in ahead of time, and as you can see, it's now working. You can even see in the bottom left here, we can press Y to open the inventory, all of that stuff. And for example, we could go get a grass block to replace what uh, what we just broke there. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy playing Minecraft Java Edition with the controller. I love how this makes Java Edition way more accessible to more people, which is great to see. Um, yeah, let us know if you got any questions. We'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.